Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be making a bee inspired set of nails. So as usual, starting off, I'll be showing you guys what kind of items I'll be using to achieve today's set. First off, we've got one free, two free, and it's a shade of white from Cloud Beauty. And the second color is a yellow from Venelisa. And it's one of those colors that I've had in my collection for goodness knows how long. It's been forever, pretty much. And I never touched it, and it's probably just because it is a yellow. It's not not a color of my like it's not very a comforting color for me <laughs> um but also it kind of felt like it was almost like sheer in the bottle you can't really tell on camera but in person it almost felt like it was jelly inside like a jelly consistency of a color i don't know but actually in when using it it was just fine which is amazing and i should do some glitter and also we will be using um black from glitter bells unbelievable gels um and yeah and i'll be using that basically for some nail art so starting off we will be making two full yellow nails i believe i only show you guys one in the video of me painting it but um it's 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 a nice consistency i i, I really like vanilla products as well as the cloud beauty products super nice and super pigmented for for a color like that not too bad not too bad especially as i did think it was fairly sheer in a bottle i that clearly proves me so wrong uh next nail we are doing white and when it comes to the white nails we will be having two white nails so two yellow nails two white nails and one of the nails we're going to do an ombre and finally i have i have my those ombre brushes sorry ombre sponges come in i am so excited i will no longer be using a um kitchen sponge there we go here it is i'm so excited and the first time i tried it it went horribly wrong the colors were just so sheer i i just didn't know what happened and i went that day i went on instagram and i saw some random person on instagram um use this so they dabbed it on and then before curing they actually sprinkled some clear acrylic so i was like okay well i've never tried that before let's give it a go and it's literally perfect it gives you the most perfect ombre ever so if you guys don't have any clear acrylic do you even just get the cheapest one you possibly can even on ali i'm not sure if they sell acrylics on ali but oh my goodness it made such a big difference it's unreal it's almost like an airbrush beautiful ombre so here i'm showing you guys that all those four nails have now been cured and also a second layer has been applied i believe they haven't been cured though the second layer hasn't been cured um and now i'm going in with a second layer of the ombre i believe i only go in with three layers of the ombre so i believe i don't show you guys the um third layer but as you can see with the second layer already it gets so much more pigmented after the acrylic gets put on and i found that when i don't put the acrylic and i go in with the second layer the, the pigment just isn't there it's not transferring very well so it's almost making me feel like the acrylic is almost acting like a a magnet to it almost like the gel polish has actually something to sink into that's at least how i'm trying to explain it to myself like the logic behind why the acrylic is better i have no idea i could be just completely wrong uh maybe this step is just not necessary whatsoever but honestly i recommend this so much it's this is going to be my go-to ombre now and since then i feel like i've got quite a few ombre sets now coming up because it just it's just so beautiful and i've always loved ombre so it's so nice to know that you can actually create a beautiful ombre this time and forever now um so i put that one back down and one of the yellow nails i just decided to sugar so i'm just picking up my average glitter just the one i always use that should be a standard um glitter in your collection uh, just sprinkled it all over the nail on the uncured yellow coating and then popped it back on and I now I can pop the whole set into the lamp. So um, the ombre nail is missing because I did that third layer that I decided not to show on camera and I popped it into the lamp. And so for the middle finger we are going to do this cute little bee. So this is one of my homemade nail decals that I've made. Um, like I said in my previous videos, I am going to create like an up-to-date how I make my nail decals. So if you are curious, uh, make sure you subscribe and keep an eye out for that one. Hopefully by the end of the month it'll be up. Um, but I'm super busy. I've got so many different um, nail videos already scheduled and all sorts of stuff happening. So I'm so sorry if there will be a slight delay on that. But it's definitely coming, I can assure you. So I'm just placing it right in the middle. And it's one of those now the cows I actually managed to do on the um, clear paper rather than the white paper. So I'm just placing it down where I want it. And as you can see, there's areas that are actually sticking out from either side. So I go in with my little scissors in just a sec and I just trim it down. 
And then that one is going to be good to go. So I decided to have that on matte. I quite like um, applying some matte top coat on top of nail decals. I don't know why, I feel like it kind of gives a really cool effect. So that's exactly what we are going to do with this one. So we're going to go in with that matte top coat. And the matte top coat I'm using is from Miley, I believe. And I'm still trying to scrape up the very last little pieces of it. That's for sure. Just trying to scrape up as much as possible. Um, oh, and oh, okay. So I also decided to wipe it down, and I actually have recently been doing that just because when I do apply the water nail decal onto the nail, I do use my finger to press it down, and obviously the the layer is still tacky, and it does just attract and just stick any sort of fluff that I had on my finger. So I did go in. Um, and wipe it down with some nail cleaner with a lint free wipe and now here it's time for that matte top coat I was talking about so this is the last time we're going to see this nail glossy so in case you guys did want it glossy this is what it would have looked like <laughs> but in a moment you are going to see it matte so we essentially have three nails left to do the yellow nail on the left hand side is going to be also matte top coated which I might yeah, possibly do now so I'm just going to matte top coat that one so at this point we essentially got three nails done we've got two more to do and one of them has a gorgeous bee little gem on it and the second one I decided to use some um, glitter pieces to almost kind of mimic some honeycomb I think that's what it's called honeycomb or honey or I don't know, a beehive kind of situation. So that's what we, we will try and achieve in a moment. I love how this set came out, honestly. It's so on theme. I love it. Because sometimes I, I try to do stuff on theme, but it doesn't always work. So, hmm. But now it's time for the ombre nail, which is the one with the gem. So I'm going in with my McCart rhinestone glue gel. And I'm going to pick up the bee gem that I have and I'm going to place it onto the nail as you can see I kind of placed it a bit more to the left because I'm going to do little lines coming from it kind of to show where it flew um, but it is quite heavy so I was trying to keep it in place until um, I was happy and I popped it into the lab now it's cured and I as you mm, it kind of does look like I placed it a bit more in the middle than I initially wanted it and now going in with my glitter bells unbelievable gel and a nail art brush and I'm just going to do little lines going from the bee kind of just I guess it kind of shows just where the bee flew from <laughs> um so that's kind of what I'm doing so I'm doing the line coming from it and then I wanted it to be like curved coming from the side of the nails so that's what we are going to be doing now and then once that's done I go and cure it and I don't know what happened with the curing Something went wrong because in the moment when I go in with my glossy top coat, the bottom line decided to smudge a little and I'm not too sure why. The rest of them actually cured really well. I don't know why that one in particular didn't, whether it was just too much gel on there or maybe it was sticking out from the lamp a bit. Maybe it wasn't fully in, I'm not too sure. But you'll see now when I'm applying the glossy top coat, yeah, the bottom one smudged <laughs> and I was trying to quickly save it. But I was worried to actually swipe. I was considering taking off that top coat. But I noticed that the more I swiped, the rest of them weren't smudging. So it must have just been, unfortunately, just the one line. But I'm going to top gloss that one. And the top coat is from Glitter Bells. And again, I am also running out of that one. Unfortunately, that's what happens when you do nails non-stop. <laughs> you just constantly run out. It's like one of those things you need a whole warehouse of, I swear. Top coats, base coats. All sorts. So that's what that one's looking like into the lamp. And that one is now done. So we just have one more nail to finish up. And this one, I don't know why, but I kind of found it quite hard to do on camera. So I ended up going off camera quite a bit. I'm so sorry. So I'm going in with a base coat to kind of, kind of acting like the glue. So I'm going to use the base coat to glue on the glitters. And as you saw, I have that yellow glitter. And it's kind of a mixture. It's thin. I think it's fine, medium, maybe and large. Uh, little like mixed I'm not sure but I popped it into my little container and I'm just picking out the largest little shapes I could find and then I am very um what's the word specifically placing it I'm not that's not the word I'm not sure what what I'm trying to say but like I'm very purposely placing it in a way so that um I'm kind of trying to mimic like a honeycomb or something like that so I popped some base on my breast so it's easier to pick up and I'm just placing it down onto the nail and as you can see slowly but surely it will start kind of it's almost like puzzles with this 
um, you sh slowly you notice that it's just gonna become a little honeycomb kind of thing. So in a moment, I do end up going off camera. This was a very long process. It's quite tedious, it felt like, but I feel like the end results are so worth it, completely worth it. And it definitely gave that little vibe of what I was looking for with the little honeycomb and it's so on theme i really literally love it so much so this is what i'm doing right now i'm not focusing too much on the position i'm just kind of making sure i'm placing it on there and in a moment i'll be playing about with them trying to get them in place and yeah just basically connecting them like puzzles <laughs> like little little puzzles as you can see right there so when it comes to this one in particular it's kind of there's no rule to it if you're doing it for a customer um or client i guess with like small nail beds you probably won't need three four five maybe max of these um and it also depend on you how large you want them and kind of where you're placing them so obviously i've got a massive nail here so i wanted quite a lot of it and this is how i did it but you could place it less you can place a bit more on the right a bit more on the left whatever works for you so here i am now going with a dotting tool and i'm using that same yellow we used on the other nails and i'm kind of wanting to paint some almost droplets coming from the top of the nail and that's when i was trying to mimic basically also honey dripping down the nail so i believe there's an area here also that i did end up going off camera and wiping a bit just that nail itself was just not working <laughs> so i went in with a dotting tool did dots where i wanted it to be then i'm going in with a nail up brush and dragging that little dot up to the top and that's kind of how i'm creating those little droplets there we go and then once i'm happy i will be going to cure it and then once it's cured we are going in with a glossy top coat as well so this set has a variety of all sorts it's got a rough texture at the top with the sugar nail we've got a glossy top coat and we've got a matte top coat we pretty much have it all here so here i went off camera clearly getting a bit frustrated there so the nail is now cured and it is now time for the top coat so just applying that one real quick and then that's essentially the whole set done now i'm really 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 happy it's literally one of my absolute favorites right now that i've done love it so much um nail design so i hope you guys liked it too don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think of this i do have some more upcoming videos with ombres and like i said i'll have some videos on how to do your nail decals and stuff like that and i promise i have some more press on nail kind of videos coming as well so keep an eye out for that here is what the whole set is looking like don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys